Hi. It's a Sunday. Man, I'm... New Year's, I don't even care, man. So, the zine's pretty much... It's The zine's done. It's, it's, it's already being mailed to you as I record this. You don't know if you're going to get one. You're probably going to get one. So that's what I'm doing. I don't want to show it yet. I want everyone to get it, but maybe I'll show it. And I guess I should show it before the year ends, but... Ugh. Ugh. So, um, I went to... Uh, oh, my God. I went to make copies. I need to, needed to buy envelopes, and just it's just a nightmare out on the road, man. Uh, but the zine's done. So is this CD. God damn it! Okay, sorry about that. Is it gonna work? If not, I'm gonna start the video over again. I'm watching a bullet in the head. What was I saying? So I'm gonna review. Um, oh, it's like I got that stuff I showed you from the library. Stuff I I don't show you. Like some of the CDs I've gotten, I, um, I like, or I think they're okay. The bands Trivium and Bullet for My Valentine, I like them. They're pretty good. They're just like thrash <clears throat> with uh, different kind of vocals. So if you like them or you don't like them, uh, let me know. I just had to reveal that. And bullet in the head. So I'm going to review the lair. Uh, so when I was at Half Price Books, like I showed you, I got City of Living Dead and <laughs> Zombie 2. This one like, caught my eye. And then it says from the director of The, the Descent. So, man, Neil Marshall. The Descent is awesome, Dog Soldier, I, I think I talked, I said all this in the last vid. He's a, he's a really good director. I, I watched The Descent again and I was like, it, it's gotten even better with uh, repeated viewings. It's really good. So I got this and I was like, uh, that's a weird looking beastie on the cover. And I love, um, I just love monster movies especially like like night of the living dead uh what's another an example the evil dead uh, you know all the classics like with monsters where it's just like a siege movie or like a fight fighting for the v i mean they're not monsters but vfw does that let's see what's a different one that the even i like the relic just love monsters any like Galaxy Invader, uh, Night Beast, yeah, Monster and the Biohazard. So I, was like, I should like this. And then it says, I don't, I don't, I'm, the kills are superb with heads severed, faces ripped away, and people exploded in graphic fashion. I was like, well, I like all of that. And it does happen. That is true. You do see all of that, but it's just not enough. But yeah, I... Man, maybe I need to watch this again. Because I like Neil Marshall. I like the Hellboy that he did. I know he, he has it in him to do something really good. But I was a little... I was kind of let down by this. I I was actually, like, towards the end, I was falling asleep. I, I, actually, I was pretty buzzed though, towards the end. And I was with it, like the first 30 minutes breeze by, I was like, that's good, you know, 30 minutes in, just, uh, you know, I was like, it went by quick. Yeah, so I have a lot of nitpicks about this. Some people were saying that the, the lead actress, what's her name, Charlotte Kirk, 
that's his wife and she actually like helped write the story with him and it's the most basic like not that that the, you know it could be it, a basic story is fine but I was thinking about it and I was like there's all like little moments that when you're making them I mean I don't know I've never made a movie but I'm sure like little things come up character moments maybe like something went wrong but it worked out good not it just there doesn't seem to be any of that there's no really great character there's one like a British soldier that thought yeah, he's he's pretty cool oh there's a, a local like a, an insurgent that he becomes a good guy I was uh, I, I liked him um, for some reason like I don't know there's so many monsters like this that are like faceless and you know HR Giger's alien has no face and if you've seen it, like him talk about it, he says like, to for him like H.R. Giger is just a maniac, man. He to him he said eyes no like if something doesn't have eyes, that scared him. Hands scare him. I said dude, that dude was a was a basket case, man. So these key creatures, I, the design didn't bother me. It reminded me. It kept reminding me of that movie Feast. And split second, like you jam them together. And to be honest, like I don't even kind of like. I've watched Feast a bunch of times, and I just it's not it doesn't grab me like that. And it, I think it's a good movie, right? Do you like Feast? I think I like the sequels better, but Feast. I, I think maybe one day it'll click. Oh, like I was listening to finally. Uh, this is totally, you know, doesn't have it doesn't have anything to do with the movie, but. Well, it kind of does. I was listening to the first Dark Angel album, We Have Arrived, and it finally clicked. Like, it just hit me, and I was like, whoa, this is this is awesome. I love this. So I hope that happens, like, with movies sometimes. With movies, only, like, off the top of my head, that happened with The Crow. I remember I didn't like The Crow when I saw it in the theater, but then with repeated, repeated viewings, that movie has become, like, I love that. I love The Crow now. Anyway, back to the lair. The monsters, yeah, it just has everything I, I would should like. Like, they attack the the camp. Oh yeah, so the girl, uh, Neil Marshall's wife, gets shot down. She's a pilot. She gets shot down. That part was cool. It's pretty violent, and like they come to she, her and her co-pilot land. They come to the bad guys come to get them. They kill her. They kill her co-pilot. She finds a bunker, and she goes down in, and, and they the bad guys go in the, to get her. And there's all these tubes. I was like, oh, cool. It's like just like Reanimator, and, uh, I, you know, just cheesy sci-fi stuff. They shoot one of the tubes, and a monster falls out. That, that looked cool. It was just slid out, <laughs> and they start killing like the insurgents. She gets away, she, she, you know, since she's like a skinny lady, she's able to squeeze through the, because the doors are chained, and I was like, that's cool, you know, she would be able to squeeze through them, but the monsters can't, so I thought, for some reason, they're gonna go back, she's like, we need to kill these things, but they get out, and they attack the encampment of soldiers, and that was pretty cool, <clears throat> I don't know, it just wasn't enough, there's like some head, like, the monster slaps the dude's head off, There's a, but there was nothing, just a couple of gory kills, not not even at that moment. And I, I also thought the monsters were too easy to kill. They're supposed to be, like, just, you know, attack and kill and rip people apart. And they should be in, and they kind of are, but, <sighs> and again, nitpicking, like, if you shoot, like, if you shoot something... And the bullets, like, actually, the bullets get stuck in them. They don't, I don't think they bounce off. If you sh I think if you shoot something, they're in the movie. You shouldn't be able to, like, cut it with a edged weapon. It should be too hard. <laughs> and they're able to do that. And sometimes they die easy. Sometimes they die hard. It just, just depended. 
And then they, uh, they're able to like shoot their tongue and wrap it around you, around your neck, and then shoot their some more little tendrils and like they suck out your your thoughts and info. And that was cool, but there's not really nothing done with that. And then by and it's only like an hour and a half, and by the end I was I was pretty checked out. I hate to say it, because I I was oh man, it's Neil Marshall. He's gonna he's gonna bang out a good one. But then. There was a, a new Doom movie. And I like that. I think that one is better than this. Why? Why is Neil Marshall not making good movies anymore? Make a layman movie, Neil. Please, someone, tell him. Like, someone that knows him, tell him to do, do, just make a layman and you're, you're going to be golden. And I was, as I was watching it, I was like, why, why is Galaxy Invader a better than movie than this? Why is um, Night Beast better than this? Why is, um, what's another cheesy monster movie? Um, why is Blood, The Last Vampire better than this? Or a little better. Um, why is Humanoids from the Deep? You know, I love Humanoids from the Deep, man. Movie's so good, or um, yeah, that was a, or or slugs, the bean, frogs. I enjoy frogs more than the layer. I'll watch it again though. I can only give it a two and a half. Manos hands of fate. Um, I really wanted to to like it, and I will watch it again. Maybe I will like it because I want. Um, Everyone says the Hellboy movie was bad, but it was good. But maybe just because of budget. When it started, I was like, "Dude, why is that? Why didn't this come out? Come out in the theater?" Oh yeah, Doomsday. He made Doomsday, and Doomsday is awesome. So yeah, someone get. It. He's a good director, not a as good writer. He just needs to leave, you know, writing to. Just to someone like Richard Lehman again. <laughs> um, but there's some good, like I said, there's one couple of good splattery kills. CGI blood, like again, it's just mixed bag. And sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's horrible. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I, like I'm just disappointed. But. I'm not gonna be disappointed in this or this, but probably this. So.